Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Plastic Soul, the Entertainment Earth Pop Culture Show. I'm your host, Jason Lindsay. And today, I'd like to talk a little bit about Doctor Who. Now, I know what you're thinking. Haven't we talked about Doctor Who enough? Well, technically, no. But truthfully, yeah. We've talked about it quite a bit so far. But the part about Doctor Who in this story is actually kind of minimal. So I'll make it quick. Early 2000s, before the new series came back to British television, there was very little in the way of merchandise. The one company that was doing something really cool was called Product Enterprise out of the UK. Steve Walker was the name of the man in charge. It's kind of his baby, so to speak. He went after the Doctor Who license and he went after Daleks, and very smartly too, because there hadn't been Dalek toys on the shelves for years. So he started with these four or five inch tall talking Daleks, moved on to smaller talking ones, larger radio controlled ones, eventually did stuff for the Doctor Who movies that Peter Cushing was in. They were printing money. Dalek mania hit again for the first time since the mid 60s and things were going very well. He eventually made a six inch tall talking Tom Baker and then a six inch tall Cyberman and a few other odds and ends that didn't do as well as the Daleks, but they just knew that every time they made a certain kind of Dalek that it was gonna work. What they also did that was fascinating was have original artwork painted on each of these products. I got to meet Steve at the, I wanna say 2007 New York Toy Fair. I had been a fan of their stuff for a while, and so when I went over to talk to him, it was like talking to an old friend. But um, he couldn't have been nicer. Uh, I walked away with a, a free, he gave me a remote control Davros that kind of went along with the Tom Baker and the Daleks, the only one they had there for display. He said, eh, take it, get out of here. And we kept in touch over the years. And um, one day through the mail, I got this really cool program, art program, for a gallery down the street from where they have uh, Product Enterprise. They were gonna be doing a show for their artist who does all the art for all the, all the boxes. Well, you know, that artist happens to be Graham Humphreys. Graham Humphreys, the man who did the quad sheet for Evil Dead 2 in the UK. He's the kind of artist that you would recognize as soon as you saw his stuff. Here's a book that's come out recently. It's all of his, his artwork in here, just gorgeous. We'll put some pictures in here for sure. Um, if you like the old famous Monsters issues with the Basil Gogos kind of covers, his artwork is very much uh, in tune with that. But he's done, he's done things for movie posters, DVD special edition cases. I think he did some stuff for, uh, for Edgar Wright. I think he did a Shaun of the Dead uh, special sheet. He did one for ghost stories in the UK that I'm not sure if it was a theatrical or just a, an event type thing. But his work is extraordinary. And um, I was so jealous. I said, oh my gosh, I wish I could be there to be at the gallery. I'd love to meet him and tell him how much I love his work. And just it's, it's just kind of the cool, a cool event to be at. It's the kind of thing that we kind of thought we'd end up doing with Biff Bang Pow and having little gallery things with wine and cheese and you know trading phone numbers and looking at monster photos or whatever. Through the mail, I got a FedEx that had about six prints that were limited edition runs from the gallery show, all signed by the gentleman himself, by Graham Humphreys. And um, they're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. I got this one, the Evil Dead one. Peter Cushing. Peter Cushing and the Daleks from one of the Doctor Who and the Daleks movies. So this would be the kind of thing that they'd put on the packaging on the outside and have the Dalek housed inside the box. Graham Humphrey's hammer horror piece. I mean, look at that. All the hammer stars, all the monsters. We'll get tighter shots of those, but this is the Mona Lisa to me. So he's just an incredible artist, and uh, Steve Walker was a very cool friend to do something like that for me. He continued with Product Enterprise for a few more years. They had lots of uh, distribution issues and quality control issues and things, so he kind of started to walk away, but then came back as 1612 collectibles, and they make 
big replicas of Space 1999 uh, Eagle transporter ships, and they just did something um, of the Eagle crew, uh, Stun Gun and Comlink, which was a limited edition set, incredibly expensive. <laughs> And they also are doing these uh, six or seven inch tall figures from Space 1999. So he hasn't walked away completely. Hung, Drawn, and Executed is the book, Graham Humphreys. You can get it on Amazon. But um, if you dig really cool monster artwork that's kind of throwback as well, this is the book for you. I can't recommend it enough. I love it. But I've already told you I love scary things and monster things, so it kind of all works out. Anyway, there's a little uh, little trip down Humphrey Lane for you. See what you think about that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. And um, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, and when you do, tell me what some of your favorite horror movies are or favorite horror movie posters. Uh, he's done quite a few uh, posters for, for films. You know, some just in the UK, some here. Um, but anything, any kind of poster art that you dig or monster related artwork that's been on things, even if it's a toy, doesn't have to be a movie, please let us know and we'll chat about it. And also please sign up for the Entertainment Earth email newsletter so you can get up to date on all your pop culture needs. This is me, that is you, Monster Book, see you soon, bye.